Well, just last weekend, an Oklahoma City police officer was shot at while in his patrol car. Thankfully, he was uninjured, but the OKC Fraternal Order of Police say they are actively working to crack down on this type of crime. Obviously, we're concerned, and I think society as a whole and our citizens and our community should be very concerned when that's the kind of behavior that is on the rise. According to the National Fraternal Order of Police, 290 officers have been shot in the line of duty so far in 2023. 92 of those were ambushes. The number an increase by 22% from last year. It's been a trend that's been growing steadily uh, for probably a couple of years. It's obviously very disturbing. Over the weekend, an Oklahoma City officer was shot at while responding to a scene on Wilshire and Lyrewood Lane. While the officer wasn't hit by the gunfire, the FOP says the trend is hurting already existing problems in law enforcement and the way to combat it is by raising awareness. In, in a time where recruiting and retention and, and support, uh, over overwhelming support, is it seems to be down, uh, these things, on, on top of just the danger of them, don't, don't help with the hurdles that we face in trying to address uh, having enough people to provide public safety to our communities. Nelson also says another way is by holding violent offenders accountable. Well, I think we have to start with people who are violent and have shown to be violent and have committed crimes and have been convicted of crimes. Uh, they, they can't be let out to continue to victimize people. I mean, that, that's where we have to start.